When you first log in to GoGuardian, it's going to take you to the admin side of things. You need, just need to scroll down and find the teacher. So here, this is going to take you to your GoGuardian classroom pages. I would start by setting up a scene so that you have something to apply to your GoGuardian classes to have students in what you want them to be in. So you have the choice to run your GoGuardian scenes in allowed, which means students can only access websites that you allow, so everything else is blocked, or you can run it as a blocked website list, which means everything is allowed except what you choose to block. I would recommend the blocked website list just because sometimes when you run it in allowed mode, then things get blocked that you actually want students on and it can be kind of a pain. So I would click, then you click create list and here you can call your scene, whatever you want to call it. Choose the color that you want for your scene, click next. Here is where you can add websites that you want to block. Anything that you want to block, you can add that here. So maybe you don't want students to go to YouTube in your classroom. You can add that to your blocked list. And then if you want to remove it, you can just click on the X. You need to set a tab limit for your students. Most of the time, three tabs is perfect. I wouldn't do one tab because that will block students from being able to open things in Google Classroom. Click Save. Now go back to Classrooms and you're going to add a classroom. Do not import Google Classrooms. If you do that, students that remove themselves from your Google Classroom can remove themselves from your GoGuardian session, so it can be kind of a pain. So I would add classroom, name your classroom, Choose your subject, and then this is where you can add your scene that you created. So I will add my scene that I just created. You can choose a different color for your classes if you want your classrooms to all be a different color to help you organize. Then from here, you're going to go back to your classrooms and click on settings and go to edit class. This is where you're going to set up your schedule. So you want to create a schedule that fits your classroom needs. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is always going to have the same schedule. But Wednesdays, we have a shortened schedule. So you need to make sure you leave that one unchecked. So if I was going to set up my classroom time for first period, I'm going to have it start at 7.43, just right before students come in. And then I'm going to make sure that my classroom session ends right at the bell so that I don't um, interfere with other teachers' classroom sessions. So the classroom time, end time for first period is 8.39. So I'm going to end my classroom session at 8.39. That way, students will be cleared out of that classroom session before they hit the next one. Then add the schedule, and that will add Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Then you'll need to go back in and add your Wednesday schedule, which is going to be a different time because we have a shortened schedule that day. Then go back to classrooms. When you have students in class and you're ready to add students, you're just going to click your classroom and then click on students and you're going to click Add Students, and you're going to use a code. Then tell students to go to enroll.goguardian.com. They're going to do it in every class, so they'll be really familiar with it. And then they'll just put in this code, and it will automatically enroll those students in your classroom. If you have students that you notice do not do this, they don't go to the website, they don't enroll themselves, just send me their names and I will enroll them in your class periods.